Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Got to tell you, you know, there's uh, only one year of just about any TV show I watched from minute to end in this entirely, entirety, and that was the first year of The Apprentice. That was the year that Bill Rancic our guest, and now I think uh, I think he's been a guest a few times on the Price of Business. Uh, won that uh, won that program, and it wasn't it didn't take much longer. Certainly, when it entered the entire inter entertainment and celebrity realm for that show, in my opinion, to jump the shark. I thought it was interesting to have people like yourself who were still trying to make it rather than having has beens uh, as the focus of that program. But that's that's my two cents. I know your relationship for, with uh, Donald Trump, so I'm not going to compromise that with you. But <laughs> I'm glad to have you back on the program, Bill. Well, I appreciate you having me back on. Thank you so much. Yeah, I wish there was a show, though, that uh, restored that original concept of, uh, the, uh, of The Apprentice. And it certainly did a lot for your career, didn't it? Oh, my, it changed my life. You know, it was... It was uh... Certainly in the, the pioneering days of reality television, it was uh, over 11 years ago that we filmed it, almost 12 years ago, and that was before, you know, the, the advent of, you know, all the reality TV that we see today, but it was a game changer, you know, it definitely uh, put me on a, on a much bigger stage and uh, gave me a, a platform to uh, launch other businesses, so I, I'm certainly very grateful for the opportunity. Yeah. Tell us what you're up to these days. You remain incredibly busy. Well, yeah, I've got a, we've got a lot of different things going on. We've got uh, the restaurant business. We, we have three restaurants that we, my wife and I own with uh, uh, two other partners. We're in the wine business. Um, we have a wine called XOG Wine, and it's a, it's a bottle of wine that uh, breaks apart into four individual cups. So you can just have one glass of wine at a time, uh, and that's out there. And then we're in the real estate business, and I, you know, I can go on and on. But we're, we're staying pretty darn busy, and we're parents, most importantly. Yeah, absolutely. Tell us about what you're doing in in terms of working and helping and, and really uh, providing, I think, an important message to small business owners out there. Well, today I partnered with uh, with the, my friends at AT and T, and we're we're celebrating National Mom and Pop Business Day, and uh, it's certainly something that's very important. I think a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that small businesses created sixty three sixty three percent of all the new jobs over the last decade. I mean, if you think about that and the impact it's had on our economy, it's pretty incredible. Uh, so we just think they're a vital part of America, uh, that they, you need to be recognized that, you know, this weekend when we're out shopping, that we make sure we just think about where we're spending our money. And, and certainly we need all businesses, you know, big businesses, small business, but just to give them a little extra love this weekend to, to say, hey, thanks, and I'm going to spend some dollars with you, and, and I appreciate what you've done for Main Street and, and the risk that you've taken and how important you are to the economy. Yeah, no question about it. And uh, what are some uh, what are some tips that you could offer for small business owners? Well, I tell you, I've got three great tips for for any small business or any aspiring small business. One, uh, you got to go mobile. You know, you have to fish where the fish are. Uh, there's an old saying, and, and if you look at the way society is working today, everyone is on their device. They're on their smartphone. They're on their tablet, and, and you have to be there as well as a business owner. Whether it's mobile apps, whether it's mobile payments. Uh, whether it's mobile advertising, that's so important in any small business who wants to be successful and wants to thrive. Uh, secondly, you've got to protect your business. You know, we hear about all these big businesses that are getting breached, uh, you know, the data breached, but it's also happening to the small businesses. We're just not reading about it or hearing about it. And when it happens to a small business, oftentimes it's devastating. So uh, it, it's easier and, and more affordable today than ever to back up all your, your data online. Um, you got to create password protection on all your devices. I think that's critical. Uh, and back everything up. You know, that's so important. And then lastly, you got to network. you got to learn from others. you got to realize that there are smarter people out there than you. Uh, I think that's the first step where I started to really uh, become successful when I realized, you know, I can't do it all. Uh, and I created with, with AT&T a website for small business owners. It's called att.com slash bizcircle. And it's a, a forum where... Small business owners can go and get tips, get advice. They can learn from experts. I'm on there. There's a lot of other business experts on there, um, and it's it's completely free. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Give that website uh, one more time. att.com slash bizcircle. Yeah, well, Bill Rancic, I tell you, I'm glad you were able to tell us, uh, talk to us about the work you're doing. I think it's fabulous, and, and I want to encourage people to learn more about it. And uh, is there a website just for you where people can learn more about your sure, activity? BillRancic.com. 
Yeah, BillRancic.com. So uh, your your old boss, the uh, the Donald, the Donald, as they affectionately mm-hmm. refer to him, is thinking about running for president. Uh, have you given that much thought? What, and do you think he's going to do yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, listen, he, he's a leader. Uh, he certainly uh, knows how to create jobs. Um, you know, he's built uh, a lot of businesses, and, and you know, when you think about what he says, a lot of what he says really makes sense. Certainly, you know, I love him. He, he, he changed my life, and. I just hope he puts me on the ticket with him. <laughs> you know what's interesting about the uh, the whole thing is that uh, I I didn't think it was very serious. He seems to me ha- have been dating the idea for the last few election cycles. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when he announced he wasn't going to do the Apprentice again, I I thought that was pretty telling. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good uh, sign of, of what he's thinking. So. You know, because they just had a, a, a very successful season, the one that just uh, finished airing. It got some of the best numbers it's gotten in many years. So uh, for him to, to walk away from that, uh, that's, that's very telling. I always say players should walk away from their sport at the t- height of their game, not at the bottom. So I give him props for that. Yeah, absolutely. There's no question about it. It'll be interesting to see. He'll be uh, it'll be interesting from a uh, storyline. You know, he's he's not only uh, very successful a, in terms of generating income, but he's also interesting at generating headlines. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Bill Rancic, you're always a, a great guy to have on the program. Thanks for your time. Well, I appreciate you putting me on. Thank you. Yep. And before we let you go, that website one more time. The the AT and T one. dot com slash biz circle b i z circle. Great job. Thanks so much, Bill. Thank you. All right, when we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here, including this interview with Bill Rancic, will be found over there at usdatareview.com. While they're liking on Facebook, follow it on Twitter.